Hey guys, Ryan Stinelson here with Accelerate Marketing, and today I'm going to keep it really simple and get right to the point. I'm not even going to show myself. You guys know what I look like. <laughs> so, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Or again, if you have any questions, you can always text us at 619-304-5155. I'll get back to you immediately. So here is um, a big question that I get is what in the heck is going on here with local service ads in terms of all the different verticals. How many different verticals can be served in the United States? So let's just start here. Here's a bunch of new ones that just came on board in the past three to four months. So locksmiths, plumbers, HVAC, garage door. These are all old ones, house cleaning, pest control, etc. cetera. Um, window repair and uh, moving services. And you can see uh, underneath each one of these job main job types there's categories okay so these are the categories of jobs or work that can be done under the, the job type so job type category okay so then you've got lawn care and then under that you've got all these different categories so i just it's very important to pick as many categories as you can if you take all these you know um window cleaning junk removal, tree services. And a lot of people don't know that you can run ads on Google local service ads for these job types. So water damage, very profitable vertical. And then here you can see uh, Fencing Pro. Um, I just had a guy call today um, about this and I'll show you something very interesting in a second here. So you can see exactly how to identify how much your cost per lead is. So you can identify what your approximate ROI would be if you know what your conversion rate is, then you can very easily, you know, figure out your, your ROI before you even get started, really. Okay. Check out all these different job types for fencing pros, custom construction, fence design, fence insulation, repairs and maintenance and other. Okay. And I would definitely always run other just in case. And then we can see how that is going to pan out for you over time. So foundations pro, I'm not going to go into each one of these, but uh, Landscaper, Siding Pro, Countertop Pro, Carpenter, Flooring Pro, okay? If you're in one of these job types and you have buddies, I mean, help them out. Let them know. You know, if you know of a general contractor, let them know. They can, I mean, they can crush it right now. Here's how you very simply find out. So, fencing near me, okay? And you can type in whatever city it is. Right now, I'm in uh, Oxnard. You can see that, okay. Yes. This is how you know that there's no fencing companies that are actually advertising yet. So this is where you know that you have a huge opportunity is if you can see that there's no fencing companies that are actually like showing up here. Okay. Cause obviously normally these are, these are just regular Google ads. And then here's, here's your Google business profile. But you know, up here is where Google guaranteed would show up up here, right up here at the top and with your reviews. Okay. So anyway, Okay, so general contractor, handyman, home inspector, home security. Look at all these job types, guys. I mean, tell your buddies. Home theater, pool cleaning, pool contractor, sewage system. I mean, local pet service job types, okay? Pet training, pet grooming, pet boarding, pet adoption. And you can see all the job types. Animal shelter, okay? These are all new, and here's the, the job types go down here as well. So you can see the vaccinations, pet adoptions, pet boarding, pet grooming, okay? And now, local service ad job types, here, look at, here's language instructor now, okay? This is new, these are all new, okay? Preschool, dance instructor, okay? <laughs> so now what they're saying is Google really wants at least three businesses in order to start showing the local service ads, but they're, they're trying to, I think they're trying to lower that. You know, if you're an acupuncturist or any of these new ones, uh, personal trainer and a bunch of different types of personal trainers. We just were with a lot of personal trainers this weekend and the cost per lead in the beginning guys is so inexpensive if you're in the early stages. It was that way for PI a year and a half ago when it first got started. Yoga studio, Ashtanga, like all these different yogas that I do. I mean, Hatha, Hot Yoga, <clears throat> Iyengar, all of them are covered. Weight loss centers, first aid training, 
and you can see Google is expanding, okay? Look at this. So here's all the child care, all these different categories for child care. So you can see that Google is definitely expanding local service ads. The writing is on the wall, guys. The companies that we've worked with that we've gotten in on this early are the ones that have really, really benefited. And I created another video about this, but if you want to find out exactly how much your cost per lead would be, all you do is you go to ads.google.com right here, forward slash local dash service dash ads. Check this out. At the bottom of the page, when you scroll down there, you can identify your estimated budget. So what you do is you type in your zip code, the number of leads you want, and what vertical you're in. You, you select the vertical that you're in, the job type that you want to take, the main job type. You tap on estimate budget, and then it'll tell you what your what your budget is. And so for 100 leads for fencing in the zip code 33801, which is what this guy that called me today wanted, you know, he wanted to get leads in this area, okay? I know that these guys for vinyl fences, their customer lifetime value is like north of $1,000, okay? So here's, here's something really simple. If you've got a 50% conversion rate and your cost per lead, because 100, 100 leads for 2,900 bucks, That'd be $29 per lead, okay? Let's say that for every 10, you convert five. So five, you're paying basically for 10 of them. So that, that'd be 290 bucks. And, but you're gonna convert five of those and five is worth at least five grand and you're only paying $290. So my question to you is, is, is this profitable for them? Yeah, absolutely, because $1,000 is super conservative. If you're a fencing company, you know that $1,000 for a fence job is super conservative, like the lifetime value of, of a customer, okay? They're spending $290, they're making $5,000. That's more than a 10X ROI. We're happy with anything more than five or maybe even 3X ROI. 3X at the, at the very, very least. But anyway, if this makes sense, let me know. This guy was very ecstatic to find out these numbers today because he's gonna be able to bring on a whole new crew to manage the number of leads. He'd basically double the number of leads so that he could basically spend more time doing other things. He could instead work on the business as opposed to in the business, okay? And this is what will free him up. Okay, so that's how big this is. If you know anybody, or if you're in one of these verticals, especially these new ones, okay, like home security, home theater, pool cleaning, all the ones that are, you know, down below, I'd say right here, these are all new. Foundations Pro, Landscaper, Siding Pro, they're all new. The only ones that are a little bit older, have been around for a little bit longer, is, is these up here, like the HVAC, the plumber, locksmith, etc. So I'm telling you guys, this is like the wild west. Like you can get in very early. And if you do this right, you'll stay there because you're the one who's going to get all the leads. And when you get the volume of leads that you're getting and you have a good agency that's helping you manage those leads and answer the phone, Google's going to continue to send you leads even if your competition gets wind of this because you're going to identify that people have uh, booked appointments in your area and that starts showing up in your ad. So your, your competition's not going to have that. And also they're not going to have the number of reviews that you have because you've had a higher volume of leads and you've been able to convert more of those leads into new clients and ultimately convert them into uh, positive reviews. So I hope this all makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.